they will give you always the best rate. They connect to Binance, HitBTC, LMAX, and Kraken. What I like about Swissport is that they have an amazing app. Ah, wow, yo, yippee, yo, yippee. Hey, guys, pile number 12. And I'm super excited to be with you guys today. We have a lovely content that's to be talking about what is happening with crypto challenge talk about some new tokens getting listed on swissborg ecosystem talk about you how lovely community that is flourishing on a daily basis and talk about what's happening on the markets as you guys know my name is cyrus fazel i'm the proud founder and ceo of swissborg always to hear you guys again quick reminder metafest is happening next thursday there's gonna be a lot of great speakers uh, that's going to be happening on top of the heart of the Swiss Alps and Col Montana. Not only Mike Horn and a lot of smarter other people, but as well people from the Swiss Borg ecosystem is going to be there. Uh, we're going to have a lovely time. Uh, we're going to be talking about Exborg. We're going to talk about, obviously, Ballman Project. We're going to be talking about the next version of SUNY. Uh, there's a lot of really cool things. There's going to be NFT awards and all that. So please make it. Bring, come up to the to the wonderful Comontana. Stay the day with us. Stay the night with us. It's gonna be a really, really fun time, uh, and it'll be a great time again to connect and to talk about how we are building the brightest future. News of the week: a lot of things happening on the institutional and geopolitical side, as you guys know. Um, well, it looks like we're getting the spring, <laughs> and I mean. <laughs> I've said that many times after winter, always comes spring. Um, even if the bloodbath and, and a lot of different geopolitical tensions is happening, it looks like we are breathing into this new era. What is that driven from? Is from Ukraine accepting crypto or uh, different other countries around the world accepting crypto? Uh, you know, now Russia is about to legalize mining and want to legalize as well crypto in general obviously because not being able to spend anything in dollars and euros and having the ruble divide by two they have to find new other reasons uh other other thing which is interesting is japan targets crypto loophole to halt with russian sanctions evasions uh the crypto race in south korea gets intense uh it's really hard to understand what is the big thing right because Recently, they just passed on uh, like a 25% on capital gains tax. They passed on a travel rule. And the new government is actually trying to go the other side. So uh, it's very interesting to see how political candidates are trying to reinforce their government stand based on new crypto regulations around the world. Uh, last but not least, we are in the green, as you guys know. We have been last two months in negative territory, almost three months, the first quarter. And look, when, when, when winter goes away, springs comes. And right now, last night, we, I think so, we touched 48,000 for Bitcoin. And, and that hasn't been touched since, I think, December or so. Um, the, if you could look here carefully, the fear index has massively like doubled up. We were at 30, I think so. Uh, you know, some time ago, and we are now at 60, which is much, much higher than what we had from last week. That's bringing some momentum, as I said, geopolitic tensions, but at the same time, geopolitical people that want to play uh, the Bitcoin card, and therefore this is helping a lot in the social market, but as well the, the retail market to get into this. Right now, we're, we're probably praying with a strong, strong resistance at 50,000. Uh, if we do pass that one, we're definitely going for a big ride. I believe that we'll be playing between this 45 to 50 for some time before going to the next big move. What does that bring to most other uh, Ethereum? It broke the, the same resistance as well, which was 3,301, which today brings us into this beautiful Wu-Tang Clan <laughs> type of chart. Uh, and that Wu uh you know you enter the woo as you guys know it means really good brings the all all coin obviously into green with some of them doing extremely well the solana going 24 percent crazy uh, avalanche after avalanche week has some good news obviously that it had a good bounce and a lot of other tokens performing quite well 
Which brings us to the CHSB. Uh, you know, CHSB has been has done quite a well good quarter when you think about it in terms of the market. Just this recent action has not caught up. You know, we had we overperformed January and February Bitcoin and Ether. Uh, and now we are slightly underperforming from yesterday. Uh, but I'm very happy to tell you that, you know, we haven't yet purchased anyone. The protect and burn hasn't been achieved. I know a lot of you guys want to burn it, uh, but I'm sure this great news, the hoping great news is going to give a nice bounce to it. And we're all looking forward to it. Question of the week goes to the CHSB. And thank you, uh, Jan91. When are we going to circling supply to update it? Uh, to see the circling supply updated remaining, can we quickly have a table in case there is still vesting peer token? I think so. This is something really good. As you guys know, uh, Swissborg has roughly 100 million CHSB that is really considered for the yield. So if the total circling supply today is, uh, not, I don't have the math perfect, but it's the 800 that is between the market, the yields, and the CHSB locked for premium, then there's 100 million that it goes to essentially, um, well, the yield itself. It, that's what that's what is happening. And there's no Murray vesting period at all for any tokens uh, at Swissborg since the beginning of this year, yeah. But just making clear, that doesn't change anything, right? <laughs> uh, community sentiment of the week. Uh, Jerome, by the way, our wonderful advisor, Jerome is really one of the, 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 the smartest guy we have uh, and really glad to have him. Hi, if you're listening, Jerome. Uh, he's been doing amazing things and helping us really to ramp up the payment uh, team, which that means a lot uh, and integrating really new ways to, to get to have a better experience for all of you guys. Um, and he's clearly stated out the priorities and, and bring up, bring up this, this more positive momentum which is to focus on CHSB token, thematics, and the customized yield. I think so these are the three big things, the three massive chapters of this year. And I think so, you know, it's going to bring so much difference to the, the, the entire ecosystem. Obviously, CHSB is during our hearts, thematics being like the Web3 ETF type of style, and the customized yield, which no one is offering at all. No, not even people are talking about this. So... I think this is really, really well. Thank you, Metsy, for for to provide this thing that we have to focus on the app, provide the best products, list tokens, don't waste time on the product and bird, just at least as defined. I know there was a lot of hype on that one. The market will recognize, and finally, when the market switch, the price will follow as the moment the overall market looks not that good. That was true until yesterday. Now it's a little bit different. I mean, since Monday. Um but I think so, Mitzi, you've been here for a long time and you, you, you've seen those rallies and we know that the next one is going to be a very juicy one. We're all going to have a lot of good time using that. Look, even that smiley face is, is, is happy about it. Riffle Mounties, if you want to be a part of our lovely community members, please apply to any job or refer one of your friends. Engagement, Bruce, and a star is born. Just want to shout out yesterday... Bastien and as well Toma that were really uh, there to on RTS, which is the main Swiss TV channel we have here, and they were presenting Swissborg and saying you know what's happening with with our lovely community members in Ukraine and and how how how's the situation and all of that. And then I wanted as well to thank Bastien to as well to make this video and explain what the protect and choose meant. Uh, and and I'm very happy for your comments and for your feeds uh, about this. Talking about lovely people, massive shout out to Mary Sprengers. Mary Sprengers has been doing a lot of these awesome characters. I really do love the fact that when you put heart and love into Swissborg, I think this is a great way to express uh, this. So thank you so much for this, Mary. Merci beaucoup, c'est vraiment cool. And uh, looking forward to see more of these wonderful characters. Announcement of the week. This is going quite crazy. We're going to get massive yield on DAI up to 8% and a half, but as well on smart yield with the Ghost token. Ghost, as you guys know, it's Ave Gochi, one of the best projects in the play and earn type of uh, uh, industry. 
and there's already 1400 so if you guys have some dai or you believe in dai and as well in ave gochi which we strongly recommend well guys wake up make it happen big announcement of the week guys uh, crypto challenge is closing sad sad news it is closing the last series will be between april 1st and april 15th so we have two more weeks to happen however if we're finishing with a nice touch we will actually double uh the rewards and that therefore welcome more players to have your last two competitions which will be cool this work is going to focus on key priorities which excluded crypto challenge for now and something great is going to happen now because a lot of reason why crypto challenge hasn't been very successful because of centralized authority and centralized authority doesn't enable essentially suny to really show his strength to make sure that metaverse becomes decentralized that metaverse becomes one of the play where all of you guys could take action and not where these big giant tech companies are going to control the the, the gaming world, the metaverse world, and, and where you could really have governance and, and show the great culture of crypto. So for that reason, stay tuned in, but Into the Sooniverse is going to be something new Web3 application that's going to change time forever. Product update as well. Obviously, we have listed LRC uh, Loopring, which is really a Ethereum based two layer open protocol designed for scaling and building mainly DEX and other type of uh, this DeFi uh, essentially products. What is really good about Loopring is that not as being only used, but it has the technology of modular ZK rollup that enables really to have fast transactions and to scale those operations, which is really, really good. Um, as you know, right now, the market cap is around 1.7 billion. So it's big, but it's not huge. It's still competing with the stackware with, um, and other different uh, L2s. That's something to please consider. And there's other ones that are actually very good as well. It's ranked top 70. And uh, there was a massive 50% surge after the GameStop NFT news happened because what they're being developing as well is Game, GameStop is doing for NFT shop and it's going to be using essentially a loop ring as a L2 uh, a base layer. So this is going to be extremely interesting to see how this is going to unfold in the NFT space. So far, we saw it in more on DEXs. And uh, for that, congratulations to the loop ring team. And let's see where this beautiful token brings us. So we're about to list another one, which is PAR. You guys have probably participated into MIMO. R is the way how you essentially have a decentralized stable coin of euro. R, that's exactly what it is. So it's extremely well done. It's similar to something like DAI, but it's, it's powered by Mimos DeFi, which is really good project. We talked about this. We had the founder on the on this show, and it's it's a good way to essentially have a decentralized euro uh, that is backed by USDC, by Ethereum, through Bitcoin. And right now it's on Ethereum, but it's on one as well. It has included different other different blockchains as we speak and working on different ones to really accumulate more and more growth into PAR. Uh, the market cap of PAR, I think so, is still a little bit small. It's around, I think, so 50 million euros, if I'm not mistaken. And, but we're quite comfortable to say that the guys are putting the right action. We know the team. I've met them multiple times. They helped us in the past, good friends of us. We wish the very much best to par and hope we get a decent yield there. Chart of the week. So on the 350,000 most active uh, users that we have in the app, we could see that um, most of people, third of the people, usually do a trade every 10 days um, in the app. Where many others actually uh, do trades in a like a more hodl way, which is something I think so, which is good. What I do think is a good tip is always to take some profits time to time, like right, have that two third, one third of cash, two third of, of, of crypto, one third of, of cash, and always, you know, grow that cash and then buy back essentially tokens. Rather you, you fund more your account or you just take profits time to time uh, when it's good. And then when it's time like this, you'll, you, you, you invest again. And when momentum's going back to the market, very interesting. What we see on this side is that 
most people that are Genesis or Generation actually tend to have a lot of obviously trades that happen. And, and most of the time, because, well, I think so you're benefiting from the fact that you're not only love the community members that really is into the game, but you probably have, uh, yeah, better skill sets. And obviously, you understand that, you know, you don't need to be a high frequency trader, but swing trading could be a very valuable, uh, you know, way of conducting your, your trading activities. That, that's probably it. And obviously, the fact that fees are less and you guys just have more skin in the game. CHSB weekly data, uh, we have 250 again of new premium users, which is good, but not great. Unfortunately, we're pretty, pretty close. Same on the CHSB stake, which is 187 million, close to 400 in the yield, which is great. Weekly change, I think so is a little bit different now. We're at four or 5% up. Protecting bird remains the same and we're almost next to 100. 30,000. Let's make it next week, guys. 800 people who has to come into the app. For anyone, let's get to 130 to buy CHSB. This will be a really good time for it. This friend or this stranger will ever thank you to get into the Swiss Warrior ecosystem. Which brings us to the community in different, different, different. The decks, what is it? 7.2? 7.5? More? Less? More than 7.7 s and bam 8.5 that is great great numbers much better from last week the app activity has really grown the volume as well chsb social media deo and crypto challenge that has only two weeks left has a little bit dropped unfortunately tomorrow night is crypto night and it's a battle of the blockchains part two I think this is very valuable. I saw the one of last week. I think so. Alex brought a lot of really interesting facts of how these different blockchains do scale. How do these? How do you actually fundamentally look at uh, how these blockchains could be scored? I think this is something's very interesting, especially now that you have Loopring. Is bet Loopring better than Stockware? Is Stockware better than Arbitrum? Well, you have to look on on chain analysis to look. You know who is adopting it. Is the new projects that are being built on it sustainable or is it just going to flip to the next one? And I think so. These are a lot of the questions that very often we don't ask, but Alex will be answering them. So please keep tuned in and watch Battle of the Blockchain. <laughs> Guys, Swissborg is back. The market is back. We are on track and we won't stop until we... So thank you very much, guys, for, for the, the, you know, all the kind words, the kind hearts, kind tweets. As always, guys, be happy, stay wealthy, love our CHSB. Take care, guys. Bye. Through Swissborg, all assets will have a fiat gateway. And here is the thing. Premium features gives you zero fee trading. It's an amazing fiat gateway.